welcome to another video of World of Books. Today we'll be reading Pride and Prejudice. <clears throat> Chapter 1 A New Neighbor The sky was clear, and faint rays of sunshine spread across the English countryside. Just back from a long walk, Elizabeth Bennett clutched a bunch of wild flowers she had gathered and thought of how much she loved the springtime scents and colors of Longburn, her family's property. She approached her house, where she'd lived with her parents and four sisters since she was born, twenty years ago. As she crossed the threshold, she smiled as she imagined what she'd find inside. Her father would surely be hiding in the library from the chattering of her mother and Kitty and Lydia, her youngest and liveliest sisters. Mary, the middle sister in the family, would be busy studying, which she did constantly, oblivious to her younger sisters, whispering. Finally, Elizabeth pictured her older sister, Jane, seated next to a window, reading the book on her lap one moment, and gazing at the familiar view of their garden the next. Once inside, however, Elizabeth realized that what she'd imagined didn't match reality at all. The house was filled with a cheerful chaos. Sweet, cheesy biscuits, Lizzie, quick, quick, follow me, Jane, Mary, Kitty, Lydia, Mrs. Bennett cried, running toward the library. As soon as she entered, she announced her husband. My dear, I've had the most marvelous news. Netherfield, the large estate nearby, has been rented. And you know by who? Mr. Bennett signed. I bet you are going to tell me. Mrs. Bennett ignored her husband and continued, as happy as a mouse in a cheese shop. A young gentleman from the north is moving into Netherfield. His name is Bingley. He's very rich, and he's a bachelor. Oh, how lucky for our daughters! Mr. Bennett, who clearly understood his wife, wife's intentions, decided to tease her a bit. Our daughters? What do our daughters have to do with this Mr. Bingley? My dear, it's obvious. I hope that he'll marry one of them. Elizabeth chuckled. Cheese and crumpets, her mother's main goal in life, seemed to be seeing Elizabeth and her sisters married to wealthy husbands. <clears throat> oh, Mama, perhaps we should meet to meet this Ratlet to be sure we want to marry him, she pointed out. Don't be a cheese brain. Of course you'll want to marry him, Mrs. Bennett replied. And that's why your father must go visit him as soon he's moved in so that we can be introduced to him. Mr. Bennett greatly enjoyed teasing his wife, so even though he did plan to mis visit Mr. Blinkley, he told her he did not. Mrs. Bennett frowned and began to fan herself with her paw. I knew it! As usual, you enjoy making things difficult for me. Oh, my poor nerves! As the lively squabbling between their parents continued, Elizabeth and Jane shared a knowing look. Whatever their mother may wish, the sisters were certain only one thing would lead them to marriage. Love. A few days passed, and Mrs. Bennett disconstant grew and grew. One evening, while the family was in the sitting room, Mrs. Bennett snapped. Oh, Kitty, stop your constant coughing! As if your father hasn't strained my nerves enough. I'm not doing it on purpose, Kitty replied. Yes, Kitty, you're always coughing at inconvenient times, Mr. Bennett joke, putting down his newspaper. Then he turned to Elizabeth, who was busy decorating a hat, and said, That's very nice, Lizzie. Perhaps Mr. Bingley will like it. <coughs> Lydia who was lounging on the sofa grumbled how would we ever know since we'll never meet him mrs Bennett snapped biscuits and brie i can't take in caring about mr bingley anymore i'm sorry to hear that mr Bennett said with amusement if i'd known i wouldn't have visited this morning did you this is a 
Marvelous news, Mrs. Minette cried in shock. She began to daydream about the next fall and how her beloved daughters would meet this rich bachelor. You must have a lot to think about, so I'll leave you alone, Mr. Bennett declared, closing his newspaper and getting up from his armchair. But before leaving, he added with a snicker, Kitty, now you can take advantage of your mother's good mood and cough as much as you like.